That's an interesting groove. Even that, jeez, the the mountain climber. Like you, this you know this piece is tiring already. When you have mount, when you're doing mountain climbers. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Don here, your dance mentor, and welcome to the workshop. And today we are finally here with Seventeen's Japanese debut to call, call, call. So we're gonna be watching their music video followed by their dance practice or, or choreography version and we're gonna dive into all that stuff right at the end of it so before we get into this video however I know most of you guys who watch my channel are largely unsubscribed so please do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe and also turn on notifications that way you don't miss another upload on another 17 video so with that said here we go Rock song. Okay. Hmm. Got some stepping in there. Ooh, nice transition. That was a catchy transition there. Mush mush. <laughs> Like, what is going on in this music video? Like, there's a narrative. <laughs> hmm. Not bad, actually. Actually, not that bad for a Japanese debut of a song. I think they what they've done well with this so far is that it had a j-rock sort of pacing uh the tempo at least i think it fits uh with like that sort of spectrum of j-rock i feel like j-rock has that um that pacing that that has like i think it's the the electric guitar that really sold me and like it's good to see that you know they're still um in tune with like how they originally are in terms of their talent like their vocals are still solid we got some solid rapping in there as well um, we have like 
the good bridge moments where we have Sung Wan singing or DK singing and all that stuff. But hmm, the the dancing was interesting. I saw some things that I I didn't really expect out of Seventeen. But you know, we're just gonna go right into it, anyways. So this is it seems to be a dress rehearsal of some sort or a sound check, I believe. So here it is. Okay. Yeah, let's just redo that. Like that. Ooh. What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, guys. I love that. They're, they're playing on the open hi-hats, like, uh, and then they're just sort of finger-rolling each other's, like, shoulders and all that stuff. That's cool. I love it because right off the bat, we're getting this sort of breathing formation or, or blocking element to, you know, what we are used to with 17. So I guess, yeah, this is still, this is still 17 for sure in terms of blocking and all that stuff. Cool. Damn. Dude, that's okay. Now that's why I was like wondering, like, there was something on the left side here that wasn't working, but he just had like a small ass moment of him just walking through it. Okay. Dang, they even jittered like their 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 travels as well with their feet. Uh, that's cool, cause at least you know. It's tricky when you have like a moving formation, but you're also dancing through it. And so they chose different pictures to still be aligned and synchronized. So that way it still looks clean. In that case, it's the the whole bases, the whole counts on the bases. Three, four, five. Yeah. Up until that spinning. I will say this dance looks very tiring so far because of the tempo. That move is what got me. I was like, what is that? It's like a, like I know they're probably like driving and stuff, but man, the feet like do does remind me of a schmeeze <laughs> a little bit. So I'm like, dang, that's so, Like, I don't even think it's supposed to be a shmeez or anything like that, but it's so hypergenic uh, in relation to the song that we're, we're listening to, so. Huh. That's an interesting groove. Even that, jeez, the, the mountain climber? Like, you, this, you know this piece is tiring already when you have mount, when you're doing mountain climbers in a dance piece, like. <laughs> okay. It's a workout. I think this, yeah. This is where the stepping was involved. I was like, whoa, this is interesting. They have, they have elements of locking in it and also stepping in it, which, um, which is a nice choice to complement the pace of the song, especially when it's like rock as well. I feel like they added a bit of funk to it in a way. Like, especially with the wrist rolls. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even have, um, shoot. There's a, there's a lot. What the heck is the move called? It's like a Scooby Doo. I think it's a Scooby Doo with like an Uncle Sam point right there. That That's cool. Nice. That's like the first time we've seen locking from 17, I think. Yee. 
like that. Oh, that's a catchy groove, dude. That hike that they're doing, their shoulders, they're even hitting all that stress points too. Like, smart dancing. Like you want to find not just the groove of it, but the moments where we can all find a, what's it called? Like a, a sort of threshold for everyone to understand like when we should be stressing on certain parts of that sound or, or of, the, of that execution, I would say. That was an explosive transition there, dude. Jeez. I think a lot of this is explosive, actually. Lots of jumping, lots of footwork involved. This is like a good breathing moment that they have so far. First time where they're switching up the chorus, it's a lot slower than usual. Mm. You know, so far, like, I don't know how, like, well this song fares within, like, the rankings of top songs of 17 in terms of maybe dancing, but I think in terms of cleanliness. I'd say this is probably their most impressive set so far in terms of cleanliness uh, because of the pacing and also the fact that they're really to uphold all that stamina to hit certain you know, moves um, because they're constantly moving. There's a lot of footwork, but they're they're being really smart about all their textures and also their, their dynamics and the way they're executing so that they're still projecting well and, and making sure that things are readable or clear in other cases clean I would say so yeah this is honestly pretty impressive <laughs> like just through all, all this part movement is solid they're all like they're all on the same page Love how they're playing with like the little phone call mo motif there too. Still to stay on top of the concept of the music. Yeah, that guy, that that hike is tight. Like. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that was. That was an interesting watch. Like I, I wasn't really, ex I don't know. I for some reason I thought I was gonna be getting into of a more sultry type of vibe with with Seventeen's first Japanese debut. But now looking at it, I guess this does make sense to start a Japanese debut where it, it almost has elements of J Rock in it, and I think I like that. I like that. It's very fitting. Uh, the dancing was clean. I think, you know, especially when you're trying to enter like a new market, you always want to make a good first impression. So maybe that's why like it felt very, very clean than the, what we're used to, because I think right now we're at that point where 17 is very figurative and also very personal within their art or songs or music and also with their dancing. This is almost the same process when we got to their first uh, couple of songs. Um, they were very clean and like I think that was it was very clean uh, They were, had great blocking it and all that stuff and then when you further get further within the groove like you start to Realize that they're, they're tapping into different concepts more abstract concepts and like it makes sense that they're starting off with a song that's enjoyable has a nice pacing to it and showing off just good dancing it literally brought me back uh, to like adore you 
or what was the other song i forgot i think it was pretty you like Monse and, and pretty you i think it was like one of those first three songs or maybe even aju nice as well it's a lot more synonymous to to aju nice i would even say hmm this is gonna be interesting I, i'm kind of looking forward to seeing how they're they're gonna progress with their japanese uh, music and how they're gonna move forward with it with their dancing at least but yeah, I don't. I want to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought was unique or maybe something I didn't catch. But of course, thank you guys again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. Also Twitter, Instagram, and I will just see you guys on the next video. So thank you. Peace out and stay eating.